So what's cracking guys? It finally happened. I did my powerlifting competition, the Swedish Nationals, and it went pretty damn good. So before I show you all the clips, I just wanna explain a couple things to you and uh, about how it went and whatnot. So first I came there and weighed in. I told the judge to show my openers and stuff, wrote them down, rack heights and all that shit. And then went to the control table to show the judges all my gear that I was gonna use. Uh, so that they can check if they are PF approved and all that good stuff. So I had a couple problems with my t-shirts that I had with me. The first one had a, a print logo on the t-shirt and that's not allowed. But I kind of had it in mind. Even though it wouldn't be visible under the singlet it was still not allowed. At least it has to be like an approved logo or not. So I had two t-shirts and the, sec the second t-shirt it had like a, a v-shape. Um, by the neck, so that also was not allowed for some reason, I don't know. So, I had to go buy a t-shirt there, they had t-shirts there that was um, competition approved, so I bought one of these and um, I could go on with all that stuff. So then I went to eat a couple, eat a little and um, went straight to the warm-ups for the squats, which is the first exercise in the competition. So. Uh, in the in the gym where I warmed up there a guy approached me from my gym and they, he asked me like if he wanted to take my notes and uh, well first of all I should explain the notes if you haven't done a competition before at least not IPF competition what it works like is you get a couple notes and uh, after you've done your first opener attempt you write down what your second attempt is gonna be and then you leave that to the judges or like by the side table with the computers and stuff and um, so they can uh, type in your next attempt and you have to do this like within one minute after your first attempt and uh, also you can change that later on just before they, sh they are fully loaded the bar but uh, you have to do leave the first note in uh, before one minute so I let him do that for me so and also he said he didn't want to tell me what my next attempt is going to be so that I could just focus on uh, doing the lifting part and uh, not worry about what weight's gonna be on the bar so that I didn't let it get to my head and uh, worry too much about that. Also backstage they have like a TV that they say all the next attempt's gonna be for every person so he placed me behind that TV so I could not see what it was and uh, he just told me when to go up on the stage and perform so I just worried about being focused enough and uh, going up there and lifting the weights and I just, I just told him uh, like some goals that I had in mind that I wanted to do and he did that job pretty damn well so I'm excited to show you all how it all how it went and uh, um, I'm pretty happy with with the meet and um, just to show you how this squat bench and deadlift have been going because since my last meet all I did was squat bench and deadlift every day up until this meet which like I think it's two and a half months between these meets so I just want to show you that it really worked for me and um, just one thing that you should keep in mind that uh, since my last competition that I did in uh, the beginning of February I have not deadlifted over 180 kilos uh, I did that once 180 kilo once and uh, that's the heaviest I ever deadlifted during this entire phase of uh, volume and peaking and whatnot so it just shows that that what I've done that worked so I'm excited to show you all and let's get right into it all right so let's get straight into it my first opening attempt at squat 180 kilos I'm pretty happy with this uh, opening attempt actually because uh, the the last couple of workouts I had in the picking phase was pretty bad and obviously you choose the opener attempt before you even start to warm up so here as you can see the judge wanted me to stay a little more upright I don't know why and uh, when I did that the bar kind of rolled on my back a little bit so I felt that I hurt my lat a little bit slightly I still feel it to this day which is a couple days after but uh, so I was worried about how it's gonna go in the bench press because 
at first I wasn't really sure if it was the tricep or the lat, but it was like right under my armpit and it felt kind of strange. But I was fine. I did the second attempt, and as I said, I didn't choose uh, what weight my attempt was going to be, so I had no idea really that this was going to be one kilos. All I knew was that I heard that I said the speakers that it was going to be a person best for me. So, but I thought that it was kind of obvious anyway, because my attempt was just a couple kilos on the And also I told him that I had a goal in the squad to move 200 kilos, so uh, I was hoping for 200 kilos on the last attempt, which I got, and uh, it was, uh, this squat looked kind of like my squat did in uh, my, my last meet that I did, when I did 105 kilos, and I suggest you go check that clip out so you can see. Like, um, how much of a grinder those lifts were compared to, to these lifts that I did here, so I can confirm that like squat bench and deadlift that I've done uh, in my last training cycles actually worked, so you don't think like, like uh, those PRs that I hit in my last meet weren't, weren't really PRs because they truly were because they was um, really slow and the grindy all the way through so made quite some nice improvements here and on the bench <laughs> the bench was probably the thing that I was most impressed with in this beat because the bench really never works really in this beat anyway because the setup is pretty, pretty damn strict and uh, th there's no problem really with my arch and whatnot but it's the way that I have to lay on the bench to get the lift off because I really want to lift off myself but I can't be too far off the bench and here uh, I had my my finger a little too too wide so I had to adjust that and redo my setup which was quite uh, took some power out of me because I hold my breath the entire time that I set up and perform the lift so yes good uh, quite fatigue and uh, missed the lift because of that and then I did it again the same weight I'm for seven and a half kilos and then the spotter the lift off he just lifted the weight up but it isn't giving me help on the way out so I tried it myself and <laughs> couldn't do it so I had to re-rack it but uh, luckily for me I didn't do it anyway and uh, it got three more sides then over to the deadlift and uh, as I said my heaviest deadlift under the whole time since my last meet I haven't done anything over 180 kilos I only did 180 kilo once and that wasn't even supposed to be in the program it was just something that I did once in the gym because I wanted to my ego got to me a little bit <laughs> so 195 kilos for the opener Easy PC and pretty happy with that. Pretty hard. And then 207 and a half kilos, which is 5 kilo or 11 pounds PR in competition. Wasn't really any problems right there, so happy with that. That's really out as well. So, uh, it's been uh, quite a lot. Because, uh, this, I think that helped my back and uh, legs a lot. So, finishing at 12 and a half kilos. 220 oh. kilos on me, so I found out the 6th total. Uh, I got one red light, and uh, at the time I got 
and look at the stream afterwards. They said that when they have to be locked out, probably not. The winner will be the fifth place, Matthias Norman from Brodytor. So, here we go. I finished. Third place. Fyra, Albin Åstrande från Södertälje. Ett år. 530 kilo sammanlagt. Sen en som jag har sett många gånger tävla. Jag vet inte om han inte vet riktigt hur stark han är. Han har tre då i alla fall. Pontus Weber! Just a bit to them. And the guy who won. Han fick 560 sammanlagt. And that was easy for him because he didn't go all out because he's going to the world next month. It was very easy when he did like we did a 250 kilo squat and the, the bar lifted like. Sen har vi en segare som markerade med en nio godkända lyft. Ben Böj som vi trodde han skulle köpa i snacke. Och en fantastisk serie idag. Avslutas han vid 700 sammanlagt. Mehmet Kaja från Jönköping. Tack för att du tittade. Ska vi subscribe till mer. Och vi ses i nästa video. Ses i nästa video. Kanoners.